Hello, my name is Mrs Tipples and I'm the subject lead for computing at Tonnerville Community School. We're just going to talk to you today about the qualifications that we offer in the department. We currently offer the GCE Digital Technology, which is a brand new qualification, and the GCE Computer Science. In this video, we're going to talk to you about the Computer Science qualification that we offer here. And if you're interested in the Digital Technology, there'll be another video on the website for you. Um, we look forward to meeting you when you come in September. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Mr Thomas and I teach A-Level Computer Science at Ton Rebel Community School. At AS I teach some of the mathematical content of the course and at A-Level I teach Units 3 and 4 which are the theory units. Look forward to seeing you all in September. Hello, my name is Mr Gary Jones I'm one of the Digital Technology and A-Level Computer Science teachers here at Ton Rebel Community School. Very lucky at Ton Rebel Community School we've had good investment, we've got cutting edge technology seven IT suites such as this. We're a large faculty with four specialist A-level teachers. We offer two courses at A-level. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us. Thank you very much. The A-level computer science is made up of five units over the two years. We've got the AS, which is made up of two units. The Unit 1 Fundamentals of Computer Science. This is a theory two-hour written exam. is worth 25% of the qualification. The unit investigates computer architecture, communication, data representation, data structures, software applications, program methodologies, etc. If this is new to you, that you didn't take it at GCSE, that's absolutely fine. We start from scratch, so you build up foundation knowledge. Um, that's the point of this unit. Then we've got the unit two, which is the practical programming. This is a two hour on screen exam worth 15% of the qualification. It consists of a set of tasks completed on screen. These tasks will assess the practical application and knowledge and your understanding of VB. Okay, so Mr. Jones teaches primarily this unit and he'll talk you through from scratch if you've never programmed using VB before. Then we've got the A-Level, which is made up of three units. We've got the Unit 3, Programming and System Development. Again, a two-hour exam. This is Mr. Thomas's unit. He invests, you will investigate programs, data structures, algorithms, logic, programming methodologies in this unit. It's 20% of the overall qualification. Then we've got the Unit 4, which is Computer Architecture, Data Communication and Applications. Again, this is Mr. Thomas's unit. Um, in this, you'll investigate computer architecture, communication, data representation, organisations of structure of data, building on what you would have already learnt in AS. The last unit then, the Unit 5, is the programme solution to a problem. This is a non-exam assessment, so it's a, a coursework project. Um, you get to decide what your project is based upon, um, guided by um, your teachers. And then you work through that problem from scratch, so you research how the problem um, starts and then you move through to prototyping an actual program using VB and creating a final product that you'll evaluate and test. Since the opening of the school we've had good results. Um, last year obviously was a bit of an anomaly so I haven't put those on the sheet um, but our actual exam in years you can see here we've had good results over the past year. We offer a number of extracurricular opportunities. So we've got Digital Leaders, that's a group of pupils from Year 7 up to Year 13. They meet every Wednesday and they discuss and plan events. Um, they run charity events, they raise money. Um, they're currently planning uh, assemblies for Internet Safety Day that we run throughout the school. So they're doing assemblies to lower school, middle school, upper school, right through to senior school. Um, they also then plan for um, content to go on the website and get involved with training of staff and pupils. And so it's a really great opportunity if it's something you're interested in and it looks great on your personal statement when you're applying for university that you've got involved with an extracurricular programme. Um, we also then have um, opportunities at university open days. We try and get involved with as many extracurricular opportunities as we can to give you that insight into university life. Um, one that we attend quite regularly is the hackathon. We take a group of pupils that are interested in cyber security or in just want to see um, what the universities offer IT wise. Um, so we go to the hackathon and you compete against other schools uh, to win the competition. Um, but they also then have uh, specialist cyber security people that come and speak to the groups 
um, to give you an insight into future career prospects. We also run Cyber Discovery, which is the government's extracurricular program. Okay, so they come up with a competition, you apply through the school, um, you compete then against people around the country, and the further you get through the program, the um, higher up the ranking you get, and then you get to compete in the competition at the end. We try and involve as many extracurricular opportunities for you as possible to give you an insight into what you could do with your future with um, computing. So your next steps, so this is looking forward for what you could do. So obviously we know that some people haven't um, studied computer science before and that's absolutely fine, or IT. Um, we start at a base level, so all we really need you to do is have a really good interest in the subject um, to show that you're willing and keen to, to learn. And then moving forward after you've got your A-levels, you've got opportunities at university, either studying computing, or it would help you for any other aspect of your life that you want to do, take forward. But you could also then apply for apprenticeships. There's a lot of good companies that want to train up um, programmers especially. Um, or any computing career, this is going to help you um, move forward with. And there's just a list of career opportunities that we've just looked at and um, that would be this qualification would help you moving forward. If you have any further questions regarding either the course or the department, any queries at all, please get in touch with us via the email address sitform at tcs.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you very much. We look forward to meeting you in September. Thank you. Take care. Bye.